Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA video, we're going to be taking a look at some Vice City Definitive Edition gameplay footage. So, as I mentioned in my first video today, where we looked at some San Andreas Definitive Edition footage, the game actually came out early for guys on the PlayStation and PS5 and PS4. So, it was supposed to release on November 11th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. It was supposed to be a global release. I'm not sure what the mix-up was between Sony and Rockstar, but it came out a little bit early. So fans are able to jump on and they're able to play and enjoy the games, I guess, a couple of hours early. Well, when you're watching this video, it might be out for everyone. But today we're going to be taking a look at GTA Vice City, which I think I will personally say is my favorite of the trilogy titles. And what we're going to be looking at today is some missions to show you guys what the characters look like, some free mode stuff, and a whole lot more. So let's go ahead and get started with it right now. We're going to take a look at the opening mission and cutscene, and then we'll dive into some free mode footage. So I'll see you guys on the other side in just a second. It's uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey, hey, great, hey. Well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nicely for ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so they're brothers, okay? One operates the, uh, the business and the other one does the flying. Okay, that's them and the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight, let's go. Got it? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s, used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit! Poke my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shovels shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. Go get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's re ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine, and then we're gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh. There's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. Hey, I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No I way. I told you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't going to be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here. Stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. Okay, so overall, very impressed with GTA Vice City. I love how it still retains that 80s aesthetic. Rockstar and Grove Street Games did not get rid of that. And throughout all the screenshots we have seen and the very small bits of cinematics we've seen from the trailer, I think I was most impressed by the lighting in Vice City. Now, that was one of the big things that Rockstar talked about on their new site, one of the things they were going to be doing was a completely rebuilt lighting system with enhanced shadows, reflections, and more. And I think Vice City offers the most vibrant world of the trilogy titles. You've got the neon signs, you've got the sunsets, 
You've got the dance clubs. So that's kind of what we see here. And I think that that is just ultra impressive. And it was one of the things lacking in the original version of the game because Rockstar put as much priority as they could on the big things like your character, cars, and weapons. And so things like buildings and neon signs kind of got put on the back burner. But as you can clearly see here, the world looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, the Ocean View Hotel, Ocean Drive, the interiors are so much more vastly improved. And just like in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, there's things that I really like about the game as well. I think the minimap looks spectacular. That is a huge improvement. Same with the HUD in the top right-hand corner. The text that we get above the minimap and in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. It just seems like a weird thing to be impressed by, but it is kind of impressive that Rockstar changed all those little details and sort of made it feel more like a modern Grand Theft Auto title. And speaking of modern Grand Theft Auto titles, you're going to be impressed with the controls. So obviously, I would say most of us are familiar with the Grand Theft Auto V style controls. That's exactly what it's going to feel like here. Now, it's not a perfect one-to-one -one match, but it is significantly improved from the original version of GTA Vice City because those games had some very clunky controls, especially if you go back to them right now. So overall, I would say that's the thing I'm impressed with the most. I would say the thing that I'm getting used to the most is the character models. Now, I think the only reason why I'm having a hard time with them is I'm just used to the graphics of the original Vice City titles. So to see them right now in this upgraded sort of way, they look a little clayish, like clay models, I guess you could say. That's the only thing right now that's throwing me for a loop. Other than that, I've been very satisfied with what I've seen so far in terms of the world, uh, the cars, the weapons, sort of the background stuff. And weirdly enough, like in some cutscenes, they look okay. In other cutscenes, they don't look okay. That's what's throwing me for a big loop here is I can't tell if I like them, hate them, or if they're somewhere in the middle. So I guess this is just something I'm going to have to get used to. But the characters look overall better. They're just way different than what I was used to, obviously, back in the day with Vice City. Now, another thing that was big in Vice City was the water, weather, trees, and foliage. Obviously, we're in Vice City, which is supposed to be fictional Miami and Florida. There's going to be lots of water. There's going to be crazy weather effects. There's going to be sunrises, sunsets. You're going to have lots of palm trees, and you're going to have beaches with sand and ocean water. All of that is significantly improved. I was going to say if there's one game with lots of water, lots of tree detail, I mean, you see that in GTA San Andreas, maybe not so much in GTA 3, it is significantly improved. So I'm a really big fan of that. I also like the updated weapon and radio wheel selections. That is incredibly easy. They've definitely brought that up to GTA 5 modern times, I will say. Uh, I touched on the minimap earlier. And there's even some things that I haven't really been able to dive into all that much yet, like uh, diving into the new achievements or uh, restarting a mission after I immediately failed it, or if I do end up failing it, which I definitely will at some point in time, that's for sure. But long story short, like GTA San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, the Definitive Edition, looks absolutely spectacular. I think Rockstar and Grove Street Games did a phenomenal job here. They did a great job of balancing, retaining that old style, but making it new, modern, and easy, and refreshed. And so I think that that was probably not an easy job, but I would say they probably ultimately succeeded with that. And obviously it's really nice if you have the newer consoles, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, PC, being able to play this in 4K and up to 60 FPS, uh, like this footage coming from Champ Squad here. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. So I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. What do you think of GTA Vice City, the definitive edition. Are you impressed by it? Are you not impressed by it? Are there things you would have done differently? Nothing you would have changed at all? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Trilogy Definitive Edition videos that I'll be doing here on my channel over the next couple of days and weeks. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care.
and I'll see you guys in the next video.